To access the, uh, the rear linkage then is we come to the second button down showing the rear link arms and we come through then to our uh, our main uh, linkage page up uh, up here so it will show us the various states of our uh, our rear linkage so it's telling me up here then that the uh, the linkage is locked that it's in uh, double acting the control then is uh, we're on position control and we're utilizing the uh, the lifting quadrant there and it's telling me up here then that the uh, the, uh, the 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 damping um, of the of the rear link is then is uh, is inactive but straight away then is in this line here is we can set our uh, our maximum lifting height here then is we can set our uh, our lifting speed next one down then is our uh, our lowering speed in here then if we've got the double acting rear linkage this is showing then the uh, the downwards pressure that uh, that we're uh, applying on the uh, on the link arms there it's incorrect on the screen here where it's showing me that i've got 250 bar on this one this is a simulator and by rights then if i was sat on the tractor then this would be showing me uh, 50 bar as a as a maximum downward pressure I would then be uh, switching my uh, double acting linkage on using this button here, but again, because it's a simulator, it's not allowing me to uh, switch that on or off. Now, general rule of thumb is, is always run your rear linkage in, uh, in single acting, only use the, uh, the double acting uh, feature. Um, when you really need to, when you when you, if you're struggling for an implement uh, to uh, to penetrate the uh, the ground, um, then it's always good then. Or if it's, it's if it's riding out of the ground, it's being able to have that, that bit of downwards pressure to uh, to hold it in the uh, in the ground. But also is if you want to have a bit of a bit of a cheat, you could run it uh, right uh, right down quite low, say around about three bar. So it just means then that when you're hooking up onto uh, onto an implement, then you've got a good positive. Uh, up down of the of the link arms you're not allowed you're not waiting for the link arms to uh, to lower under their uh, under their own weight and certainly then if it's if it's a cold morning and uh, and the oil is, uh, is 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 very thick and sometimes we all know then that the uh, the link arms can take a long time to uh, to drop there just by flicking into double acting then is we've got a nice instant control over the uh, over the rear link arms this button, this box down here, then is looking at to to like say when our uh, our, our uh, rear linkage suspension is going to kick in, and again I can alter alter that. So at the moment, then if we like, scroll that uh, figure all the way uh, all the way up, we can like, say over. Once I get over fifteen k, then is start to bring in some uh, some uh, um, damping on the uh, on the rear linkage. Next box down then is uh, looking at our position and uh, and draft control. So when we're at one hundred percent, then is we're at fixed position control. Uh, so say for instance, it's a mounted sprayer or third spreader. But then once we start to work uh, to come down on that uh, that figure, then we're starting to work uh, to bring in um, draft control on the uh, on the tractor. If we've got then. Uh, a button like this with an arrow it's saying then we've got other uh, functions across and so bringing it across to this page then is then we end up uh, looking at our uh, our wheel slip uh, control and then the sensitivity of the of the wheel slip control in there and again highlight the uh, the box and then I can dial in a figure of say uh, yeah twelve percent as my target for uh, for wheel slip control uh, in here and then I'd be activating it. On uh, on that button there to uh, to switch the uh, the slip control on. Now, just in regards to uh, to, to slip control uh, or wheel slip control, should I say, is never run wheel slip control and uh, draft control together. Is they'll fight like cat and dog. So if it's dry, use your draft control. But if it's wet then use your wheel slip control and turn your draft control off. So move your draft control to, uh, to fixed position on there and then dial in on your wheel slip control when it's wet. Like I said, don't run the two together because they'll counteract each other. And certainly then if it is wet and you've got uh, draft control also activated, is you just find then that the, uh, the tractor will end up uh, digging itself into a hole.